Kita lanjutkan pelajaran bahasa Inggrisnya. Belajar bahasa Inggris <laughs> and mathematics in the same time. Oke. Okay. Calculate the following operation. Hitunglah operasi berikut ini. 14 minus 9. It is very easy, isn't it? This is much be 5. Ah, this one getting harder because yang dikurangi lebih besar. Nah, how we do this problem? Actually, you have to give minus here and you can flip it. Yeah, 8 minus 5. So, this is easier to do. Minus 8 minus 5 is 3. Okay, what about this? This is minus and this is minus. So we'll mu multiply this one and it become 23 plus 7. And this is 30? Yeah. Number 4 now. This is the same problem. You can solve this problem. I'm sorry, we can solve this problem. You can keep minus here and you can change the sign. Okay, this is 34 minus 18. If it is hard to do it here, you just place it here. 34. Hey, wait a minute. I have to keep more space. 34 minus 18. Because 4 is less than 8. So we land 10 from here. So it is 20 and it is 14. Okay, 14 minus 8 is 6 and 2 minus 1 is 1 and we have here is minus 16. Next, how to do this? It is the same problem. You have to change the sign. This is 15 plus 21. Okay, so it's minus 5 minus 1 is 6, uh, plus 1 is 6. 1 plus 2 is 3, so this is 36, and it is minus, minus 36. What about this? This is the same problem with number 3. You multiply the minus sign, so it becomes 22 plus 11. And this is very easy, it is 33. And this one, you can change, yeah, you can change. This is uh, commutative properties. Yeah. Minus 6 plus 14, it is the same value with 14 minus 6. Okay, and 14 minus 6 is you know, 8. Okay, what about this? This is 120 minus 3, and this is 117, of course. This is minus 10 minus 100, so it is minus in the parentheses. 10 plus 100 and minus 110. And the last, if we got the same value, the different sign, it must be zero. Okay, that's how we do for B section.